Welcome to Talk Crew Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello, guys. Today we would discuss about uh, wind shear and microburst, as both are these small topics. So, what is uh, wind shear, guys? Uh, sudden change in speed and direction is known as wind shear. All right, guys. and uh, how do we react in terms of uh, whenever we face wind shear during take off path as well as uh, while we are going to approach making approach to land all right so whenever we face uh, wind shear on take off path we always uh, deviate all right like a 15 degree left or 15 degree right as per your convenience okay but yes uh, in case uh, if we are facing we got this wind shear on approach path we always initiate missed approach all right we always go for go around and uh, initiate missed approach procedure we do not take risk during approach so these are the two conditions okay and uh, in case if uh, during cruise if we get so that's normal we just need to you know like uh, procedures are different uh, as per the aircraft but uh, over here in uh, rtr examination we get these two conditions most of the times okay so do not depart guys in case if we have uh, prior information there is a wind shear already on uh, nearby or on your take off path do not depart in case of wind shear activity keep it in mind we cannot depart in case if we know already about wind shear now let's say uh, your question is you experience wind shear on approach path or take off path all right if you are experiencing wind shear on approach path how we are going to make call okay let's make a call for approach path so delhi tower uh, this is victor tank alpha bravo charlie wind shear then the format is report time okay and then intensity and level of approach okay you tell about runway and uh, you know the location so normally what do we do before making call i am telling you we all know uh, whom you are calling who are you then we use this term wind shear and we also tell about uh, report time whatever it is what kind of intensity of this wind shear and uh, what was the height of uh, this wind shear on approach path and uh, you know which runway we were approaching and uh, what was the distance of that wind shear from the runway okay so we are going to make a call delhi tower victor tank alpha bravo charlie wind shear report time 1000 intensity moderate level of occurrence 1500 feet on approach path runway 10 at 2 miles so this is how we just uh, give a time all right and a level and what kind of uh, height was there while you faced this wind shear and what was the runway and at what distance you faced it so little bit description about the event guys okay don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all upcoming videos and like in case if it is on uh, your approach path initiating missed approach procedure you cannot land in wind shear keep it in mind guys all right so now as um, i'm just repeating it again uh, for you in one go delhi tower victor tango alpha bravo charlie wind shear report time 1000 intensity moderate level of occurrence 1500 on approach path runway 10 at 2 miles initiating missed approach procedure all right guys so this is for your approach path okay uh, let's say if you face uh, you are experiencing wind shear on your take off path take action so in that case similar thing you just need to replace two words take off and uh, what you are going to do so delhi tower victor tango alpha bravo charlie wind shear 
रिपोर्ट टाइम वन जीरो 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 इंटेंसिटी मॉडरेट लेवल ऑफ अक्रेंस वन थाउजेंड फीट ऑन टेक ऑफ पाथ रन वे वन जीरो एट टू माइल्स डेविएटिंग वन फाइव डिग्री लेफ्ट और वन फाइव डिग्री राइट सो दिस इज हाउ वी रिएक्ट इन बोथ द सिचुएशन इन केस ऑफ वेंचियर एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू in case we are aware about the wind shear we never depart in case of wind shear activity now we would understand like uh, micro burst okay in case if you face a micro burst so what do we understand by this word micro burst guys like whenever we face heavy rain a strong downdraft and uh, we lose height suddenly and uh, visibility is getting reduced to like 100 or maybe 200 very less all right which could be dangerous for us so how do we make call for microburst again procedure is more or less similar terminology would a little bit different okay because wind shear is just change in speed and direction over here there are so many events would occur in microburst okay heavy rain would be there a strong downdraft would be there visibility would also reduce to very less okay so again both the things in terms of uh, your uh, uh, take off or landing whatever it is so again we would make a call for uh, approach okay so guys in case if we face a microburst again on approach then uh, we always uh, you know go for missed approach procedure and if we face it on take off whenever we took off then we take a diversion to left or right accordingly okay so let's start the call for approach in terms of microburst okay question could be you experience a microburst on approach path take action the call would be delhi tower victor tank alpha bravo charlie experience microburst a strong downdraft heavy rain lightning thunderstorm lost height 500 feet visibility reduced to 100 meter on approach path initiating go around and missed approach procedure guys this is how we make call if we are uh, you know experiencing microburst on approach okay now let's say the same question on take off path all right so delhi tower victor tank alpha bravo charlie experienced microburst strong downdraft heavy rain lightning thunderstorm lost height 500 feet visibility reduced to 100 meter on take off path deviating 15 degree left or 15 degree right so this is how we react in terms of take off guys so these instructions are not given by atc in terms of uh, deviation in take off and the missed approach procedure in uh, approach all right these are the pre selected thing we all know this is what we have to do in case of uh, wind shear as well as in microburst so that's it guys in wind shear and microburst let me know in case if you have any question thank you take care here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching